everyone, welcome back to my channel. Let's talk about the Gucci Diana bag. So the new version of the Gucci Diana, the re-release has come out and people are really liking it. I talked about this over on Instagram, but I thought I would bring the conversation over to YouTube. I think personally that this bag is gonna take off. I know a lot of people who have a wide range of handbag tastes are into it. Whether or not they like the neon little handle strap is debatable, but because it's removable, I think the bag will become popular wearing it with or without that strap. What makes me interested in this bag is because it's a re-release of a classic vintage bag and it's the bag that Princess Diana used to carry, that big Gucci tote. She had the suede version of the big tote, but I think that the vintage totes and bamboo handles in general are going to come back. No matter what your handbag style is, you can find one with bamboo handles in vintage. You can get hobos, you can get crossbodies, you can get totes, you can get nylon bags, you can get unstructured, structured, doctor bags, like a speedy shape. There are just so many different bags that have been released with this handle because it's a very signature look for Gucci. I think that the tote version, especially because that is what this one is mimicked from, is going to kind of blow up. And we know that the pre-loved prices have skyrocketed in general across the board on any luxury brand. So I really think that this bag, which is still pretty cheap right now and actually very cheap right now for a luxury bag on the pre-loved market, I, I don't think that's gonna last. I think that those prices are gonna go up. So I wanted to share this in case you've always wanted one of these bags. It might give you the little kick that you need to go ahead and look for that now. I have always appreciated the bamboo handle. I've always thought that that was very classic, cool Gucci. In the Gucci Museo, the Gucci Museum in Florence, Italy, I remember going through that before I really even knew that much about the brand and just being like, wow, that's a very interesting, cool thing. And then seeing the history of it and the celebrities carrying it and all of that, I always thought that that was really nice. So when I started my collection, that was a vintage bag I always had in the back of my mind, but not one that I felt like I needed to have in my collection at the moment. And I had never really felt one in person. You couldn't, you know, feel the ones in the museum. So I decided once I saw that that was gonna be released, I decided to go ahead and take the plunge and I have an unboxing for you, which I will insert that footage now. Okay, moment of truth. Old Gucci logo. Tied shut. Okay. very lightweight surprisingly lightweight okay it has a little bit of an indent there which you would expect from this a couple of small scratches I mean it is kind of like a box leather it's very structured and beautiful feet on the bottom Ooh, they're pretty too feels pretty good I wasn't sure how I'd feel about the color in person but I like it and I think it looks really nice with the handles. Let's see about the inside and it's in good shape. I mean, it has, I knew it had a couple little things. Here's how this works. So there's a snap and a flap, flap and a snap. That's fine. <laughs> Stepping. Okay, it has a Gucci tag. I will get it authenticated before I probably even show you all this video. Oops. Looks good. It's a very similar size to the Prada. Folders do fit, snaps, no problem. I have to say it's actually much more secure than I thought. The snap is nice, but also the flap covers so much of the bag. There's really no way to like reach your hand in or anything. So I thought I wouldn't be comfortable carrying it into the city, but I think that would be fine. I would consider though getting an extra strap and attaching to these. Um, here it is in a little bit more detail. I do have to check, so I know I can get a folder in, but I do have to check 
if it fits everything. And um, you can kind of hear it, right? That's like my biggest complaint is you can hear it. You can certainly find ones that have a long strap, so I can't really complain about that. This one just doesn't, but yeah, I, I really like it. I like the structure of it. It's super lightweight. I had my husband feel it and he's like, oh, this is pretty light for, you know, a bag, a big bag like this. So yeah, I like the feet. There's a lot of things I like about it. So let's see what fits inside. I just checked the camera and it actually almost comes up as like, kind of like a green. It's very much a chocolate brown. Okay, so I have all my things for the semester in here. Okay, so like I showed yesterday, I can get my folder in, but I do have to kind of push it in. But that is in. Quarter pen, I'm gonna try to get next to it. Great, that fits no problem. Hand sanitizer, big sunglasses case. Little pouch and I still have plenty of room so there's a little tiny zip pocket in the back that I could fit my keys in I don't know if my wallet would fit but I think so it's not that skinny um, but I would probably put them in this middle one just because it's just easier to pull them in and out if need be and that goes all the way to the bottom of the bag so I don't think that'll be any problem uh, I could fit a water bottle pretty tall one as well it's less skinny than I thought. I was worried that these things wouldn't fit with the divider, but they do. So now let's try a pair of shoes. Yeah, shoes fit too. And yeah, there's definitely room to spare. I can get a water bottle in next to my shoes, but I have small feet. That might be a little harder for someone else. And then... It closes. Now the one thing is this is pushing out, so I would potentially want to switch it actually and put my shoes in the back um, or rearrange my shoes in such a way. Well, I don't know if I can rearrange my shoes in such a way that they don't do that. Okay, I turned it upside down so it's actually the same way as the other one, which is not space efficient, but doesn't push it quite as much, but there's still like a little bit right here. Let me know if you all have any questions about this bag. I'm pleasantly surprised by it. I thought that I would buy it and I was like, I don't know if I'll keep this or I'll buy it because it's a smart buy and buy it to resell, but I've always wanted to try one of these and I think this is my chance to do it. And I'm impressed with it. I like it even more than I thought I would. So I'm really, really happy with it. Let me know if you have questions, if you want some kind of deeper review after I've used it a while, definitely jump on it. I will leave the links to at least some more of these totes, um, maybe some of the other styles as well in the description box. We all have a wonderful day and I will see you in a future video. Bye.